All right, guys, I got a short one for you this morning. I mean, it is Friday. I got to keep it short, right? End of the week, Flex Friday. Um, and this one's for all of you Texas auditors and Texas cop watchers. That's right. We're going to Dallas, Texas. <clears throat> Not Arlington. No, this isn't about the Cowboys. It's just about a couple that think they're a cowboy and cowgirl. Two Dallas police officers have been fired after they've had arrests. Dallas, Texas Police Chief U. Rene Hall fired two officers Thursday, September 6th, following investigations into criminal allegations per the department's news release. Hall terminated Officer Christopher Hankins after he was arrested three times last year. Police said an internal affairs investigation found he'd improperly worn a police raid jacket while off duty and took $830 worth of groceries from a Denton Walmart without paying for them. Hankins was also arrested twice the following month while on administrative leave on family violence charges. Well, he was home all the time. He got on everybody's nerves. Also terminated was Officer Elvia Mercado after an internal affairs investigation found she drove under the influence of alcohol. She was arrested in February after she was pulled over in Irving, Texas. Now, these two officers are allowed to appeal their termination under civil service rules. This is a shame, folks. This is really a shame because when I went through a police academy in Texas <clears throat> and PC 832, which is California Post uh, Police Officer Standards and Training here in California, uh, they told us pretty much the same thing in both of those police academies, California and Texas, that you have, you know, your regular community, the residents of your county, city, whatever your municipality is, you have the residents here at a standard level. And law enforcement officers have to be here at a standard level. So if the residents are living at this standard level, law enforcement officers have to be at this standard level. Well, these two were at this standard standard level down here so i mean you know when you have officers that live at lower standards you have nothing else to do but get rid of them they have to set the example that's how it has to be um so i'm going to get your thoughts on these two in the comment section below i also want to get your thoughts on this as i was looking for a story and i came across this one uh, i saw uh, quite a few different officer involved shooting stories um, I didn't get to any of them. Some of them were a little older stories, so I didn't really uh, just had updates or, you know, new information on them or whatever. So I didn't really um, get to those. But I want to know your thoughts on that, too. Like these officer involved shootings. I mean, we've always had officer involved shootings. It just seems that maybe it's because of social media that it seems like there are more today than before. And and I got to admit, officers sometimes are too quick to pull their weapons. They're too quick to go, bang. I mean, man, he scared me, you know, or whatever. I mean, take, for instance, the, the African-American minority kid that was shot with a cell phone in his hand. And they had body cam footage of that. And the officer, instead of staying around the corner safely and trying to, you know, de-escalate and disengage or de-escalate and, and disarm him or what have you, he jumps out and goes, gun, bang, bang, bang. I mean, it was that quick i'm not exaggerating he jumps out you hear gun and then bang 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 and it was a cell phone in the guy's hand so i mean they're so quick now to just pull that trigger i want to get your thoughts on that news now you kaipa let me know and as always the link to this whole story i practically gave you the whole story but the whole story if you want to read it for yourself is in the description box below and it's football season i may have some football blogs coming up in the coming weeks hey i am news now, you Kaipa.